IKMF organization was formed by IMI. Uh, according to his vision, we are spreading the Krav Maga all over the world. His vision was very simple, so that man may walk in peace. And uh, we are get, got to in Germany about seven years ago and make the first step by introducing the Krav Maga to three people which are now leading the IKMF organization, which is Oliver and Sasha and Ralph. During these years we are visiting Germany, making seminar to show people what is the idea of Krav Maga, how much it is simple so man can, can walk in peace, can protect himself and the people he loves. On that idea we're making the cross town, which is a, a combination of making self-defense in restaurant, in, uh, CQB, in pool, in bus, places we are living in, and we show them how we protect ourselves against criminals, maybe sometimes uh, people who are drunk or junk, and uh, even people who have a mental problem. The problem we are facing during our life are starting from robbing us, uh, attacking us, uh, trying to get something from us. And the idea we tell people is get home safely. If needed, give the money. If needed, attack the person and run back home. If you cannot, because you have a child with you, think and react accordingly. Now, RKMF is now uh, spread about 60 countries around the world. In each country, we modified the way we are protecting ourselves to the culture and to the law. And Germany is a very safe country. It's a very uh, um, modern country. And the problem we are facing here is uh, uh, starting from uh, children problem, getting kidnapped, to women getting uh, sexual harassment, to uh, young people have a problem with uh, dealing with people, with gangs. We are dealing with this problem. Very simple and very nice way. The knowledge comes from two main sources. One is the science and the other is experience. The science tells us how to move, how to react, what to do to finish the situation so you can be in a position you have no more danger. The experience coming from all the countries we are going and teaching Krav Maga, and of course from the source which is IMI uh, many many years ago. We see IMI all the time looking at us, see if we are making good job. And this is what motivates us to make our people better and better and better so the best can be better. Okay. Um, people are often asking, at least in Germany, is there a special relationship between the IKMF and the Israeli army? And is there a, a distinction between the Krav Maga of the IKMF and the Krav Maga which is taught in the Israeli army? Uh, it's, it's very simple. The Krav Maga was taught in the Israeli army. This was the starting point. In the beginning it was just solution for situation soldier wo was facing. He have his rifle and he have his skills of Krav Maga to protect himself and to do his duty. Later on the Krav Maga get out of the army and then he have a different face which is the civilian Krav Maga, meaning how a civilian protect himself. Later on it go inside the law enforcement. So how we are protecting the law according to the law with the tool which is Krav Maga. And uh, in the late, uh, in the last uh, years, we are dealing with protecting third side. So, in the Israeli army, there is one side of Krav Maga, the basic one. In IKMF, we have the protecting third side, the civilian side, the law enforcement, and of course, the military, which is starting the Israeli army. The relationship between IKMF and the Israeli army is very simple. Our student reaching to the stage they have to uh, give their time to the army, they have to protect the country, our students become the Krav Maga instructor in the Israeli army. Uh, the army is giving us problems and situation he need to solve and we give the solution. So there is a 
symbiosis between us and the army. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. That's it.